Thank you. 
And if you stay there long enough in the garden with him, Mama. you can hear his voice. Yes. And that's important to those who know the Lord, to be able to hear his voice in the stillness and all the chaotic stuff that's going around them. Be And uh, uh, the music. Uh, if you want to go back, here, twenty six thirty one. As to Philip, an angel of the Lord said to him, Go up, down to the desert road that run from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out, and he met the treasure of Ethiopia, a, a Munich of great authority, under the Ken, Kendrick, the queen of Ethiopia. The Munich had gone to Jerusalem to, to worship, and he was now returning. Seated in his carriage, he was reading aloud from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Holy Spirit said to Philip, go over and walk alongside the carriage. Philip ran over to, ran over and heard the man reading from the prophet Isaiah. Philip asked, do you understand what you are reading? The man replied, how can I unless someone instruct me? And he urged Philip to come in, come up 
into the carriage and sit with him. Amen. Amen. Sea breeze. North the snows cut of US 421, Carolina Beach Road. In the 1920s, the Freeman family developed, developed a recreational area along the Intercoastal Waterway named Sea Breeze. African American families would come, come from all over the state to play Sea Breeze. The area's first building was constructed in 1922, and by 1940s, the area was almost fully developed. Freeman's Beach, located on the north end of Carolina Beach, was a short distance by launch from the resort from the resort. Sea breeze began to decline when integration allowed African Americans to access all beaches and directions. Thanks to buildings a few which exist today. Amen.
Charles Davis each Tuesday night at 6 p.m. at the Patrick Cullen Church. You can join us via Facebook on the conference line. Neighbors, Blessed Neighbors will be Saturday, April 27th at 11 a.m. at the Pastor's Home Address. And you can just reach out for us for the actual address details. Community Worship Service and Mount Island Missionary Baptist Church May 5th at 6 p.m. Our second shut in list is Cynthia Hennett, Carol Lewis, Charlene Brandon, Pastor Ron Davis, Lorette Corbin, Eva Foyne family, Nora Crawford, David Miller, Charles Tate, Noah Sanders, and Ron McKenzie. And our third mentor right is Ryan Brown and Taekwondo. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory.
now a non-denominational church, which is me, our church. So there's eight of us coming together. So on May the 5th at 6 o'clock, they're going to have a community worship service at Mount Holly. And the pastor that will be preaching is the pastor from Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church in Masonboro Sound. <laughs> but I didn't know it was two of them until all that happened. <laughs> to God be the glory. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. As we look to the Lord, as we look to the Lord, thanking him for everything that he has done. And lifting up all of our offerings for last month and this month that people have given, we thank the Lord. We thank the Lord that we're able to do what we do in the community. Because on the uh, third, last Thursday, not this past Thursday, but last Thursday, we were able to feed so many people in the community. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. And, and I'm just so with, with that which you donate. With that which you donate. So I thank God. I thank God for everything people do and give us. I think I don't take it lightly. Mm -hmm. I don't take it lightly. <coughs> to God be the glory. To God be the glory. As we look to the Lord right now, Lord, we thank you. Thank How you, excellent is your name, for Lord, you are, you, oh God, you are just totally awesome in all that you do. Yes. Even this morning, even this morning, as you allowed the earth to be watered, yes, yes. God, we thank you. Thank you, God. We thank you. Even on last week, Lord, as you as you watered in the in the western part of the states in the central part, there were tornadoes. But God, we thank you. Thank you, Father. We thank you. Mm. Some people lost their homes, but God, we know you will give them refuge, and we know you will take care of them. Yes. We all need to understand that we need to trust you even the more with this chaotic world that we live in, God. Yes, yes. We don't know when they're going to send bombs on, on America. We don't know. Jesus. But God, you know. And all we can do is pray for our protection. Yes. God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for your holy. We are holy. You're holy, God, and you want us to be holy walking before you. You are holy, and we thank you for being righteous. We thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you. Thank you, God. That he thank went you. to the cross for every one of us. Yes. He who, know, who knew no sin mm -hmm. went and bare all of our sins. Yes, yes. So that we could be free. God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. And we praise you. We give you glory for yes. who you are. Yes, we do. Oh, God, what would we do without you? Mm. What would we do without you? God, we pray for traveling mercies. Yes. And them on the highways and byways and airways today. Yes. God, we, we pray that. And even through the week, we pray, God. Yes. We pray, God, that you give your protection. Lord, Lord, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Yes. And we pray you. We pray, Lord, for everyone in the hospital, mm -hmm. in the nursing home, yes. in any facility that they need to be cared for. Yes. God, we thank you for them. We thank you for the workers. Thank we you, thank Lord. you for those who take care of the people. Yes. We thank you, God. Jesus. We thank you. Yes. We pray your holy name. God. Yes. We give you glory. Yes. And Lord, we'll be mindful. To give you all that glory. Yes. Praying for every church, every pastor, every congregation. My Lord. Oh God, we thank you. Thank you. Father. We thank you. Yes. And Lord, we pray and give glory and thanks to you. Yes, yes. To you for all that you do. My Lord. This is our prayer in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Brother, uh, Pastor, Pastor Garrett here, every morning, he sends me a text telling me to preach the word, preach the word, and, and, and have a, a wonderful day and to give all of y'all his love. I get a text every Sunday morning from him, amen. And I told him that when he completes, when the Lord allows completion of the work he's doing on this church, mm. I said, we're going to go. We're, we're going to go. We're going to go and visit.
those of us who can. We're going to go and we're going to visit for that young man. He's awesome in the Lord. Yes. He's awesome in the Lord. And God, we thank you. We thank you for him. Yes. We thank you for him. Oh, Lord, to God be the glory. I tell you, it's so good to see Brother Richard and Crystal here.
church and watching them men sweating within the quartet. Mm -hmm. Just say it up so, amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Mm -hmm. I can attest that Jordan Driver is chilly and cold. All right now. I've been there. Been baptized in. It is chilly and cold. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And you know, you hear songs and you think that they just do it that rhyme. But Jordan River is really chilly and cold. My Lord. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. As we look to the Lord, as we look to the Lord, oh Heavenly Father, as we come now, Lord, we come and ask that the real preacher comes. It's yes. not about me, God. It's all about you. And God, we just thank you and praise you and give you glory yes. for your word. Amen to God be the Lord. Amen. To God be the Lord. Okay, now I got two versions here because I had to send some out to the house to get <coughs> the sermon. Okay, well, not really two versions. I got one I can see and one I can't see. Amen. <laughs> Amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. I'm going to be coming to you as, as, as Brother Gary already read the scripture this morning. To begin this, and I'm going to be coming also from the last part of the scriptures for that segment, from 31 to 39, and this is from the New Living Translation. And he said, how can I, unless someone guides me, and he asked Philip to come up and sit with him, the place in the scripture which he read was this, he was led as a sheep to the slaughter. And as a lamb before his shearer is silent. So he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, his justice was taken away. And who will declare him, declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. So the only answered Philip and said, I ask you, of whom does the prophet say this? Of himself or of some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at this scripture, preach Jesus to him. Mm -hmm. Now as they went down the road, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, see, here's the water. What hinders me from being baptized? Then Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. And he answered and said, I believe mm -hmm. that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So he commanded the chariot to stand still. And both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water, and he baptized him. Now when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught Philip away, so that the eunuch saw him no more, mm. and he went on his way rejoicing. Thank to God be the Lord. Mm. So I just want to talk to you for a few minutes. The word comes to the least. The word comes to the least. How many times have coincidence happened to you? That you were on your way somewhere, the GPS was not working right, and you just happened to stop at a convenient bar. Mm -hmm. You began airing your frustrations about not being able to understand the directions of where you need to go. And then someone says, I am headed that way. All right. You can follow me if you want to. How many times has that happened? To anybody. I know it's happened to me several times. Mm. It's happened to me several times. Because in a little small town, somebody put the wrong stuff in the GPS. Say, <laughs> <laughs> God be the glory. You want to shout for joy and that feeling of loss and stupidity goes away when you find out that the directions were not updated on the GPS. Brother Garrett read to you verses 26 through 31 about the meeting between Philip and the Ethiopian. Ethiopian. Apparently, he was reading aloud, and Philip heard him and realized he was not understanding what he read from the book of the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Not only did Philip not understand, uh, seem to not understand what he was reading, God also knew he did understand. But he sent somebody. Yes, Anytime you are reading the word of God and you don't understand, reach out to somebody. That's right. Even if it is Google and you can't get nobody right, Google it. Google it. They'll have a meeting, and if it's one you're not satisfied with, reach out to somebody. He was in a chariot with his own personal driver, 
and the scrolls looked to be old and expensive. But Philip didn't question where he purchased the scrolls or even why he was reading them with such interest and enthusiasm. He just noticed that he had a hard time understanding what he read. Sometimes we look at people, because this unit was rich. He was rich. He looked rich. He wow. looked like he had means. Sometimes when we see people that look like that, we are automatically think they know everything. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't. They don't know everything. The man seemed to be intelligent, and yes, he was rich and of good character. He even knew the Greek and Hebrew language. Why? Because he was in Jerusalem. And at that, time, he, that's what that, at that time, they were speaking Greek because everybody was mixed up in Jerusalem. He was there for worship, for worship to the true living God. But then he was reading the scroll of Isaiah written in Hebrew. He was an intelligent and an educated Ethiopian. But he still didn't understand it. He still did not understand. So it doesn't mean that just because you're educated, you comprehend everything that comes before you. But isn't it amazing that Philip came along? Mm -hmm. He came along at just at the right time to offer his help. He didn't fear him or send him away. Instead, he offered him a bribe so he could explain to him what he was reading. And after he reread the passage to Philip, and Philip explained it, he came upon some water and wanted to be baptized. He read that scripture, he wanted to know who it was. And Philip explained to him, that's a prophecy of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Of Jesus. That's, that's a prophecy of who he is. And now that Philip could have said that this man would have wanted to be baptized, how did he know about baptism mm. if he had not been taught by Philip at that time, that little small time in the carriage, in the, the chariot? In the, he, Philip explained to him not only who Jesus was, that he needed to be baptized mm -hmm. and belong in the body of Christ. Philip was carrying out the command of Jesus Christ before he ascended into heaven. Matthew gives us the great commission. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely, I am with you always yes. to the very end of the age. Yes. <laughs> that also tells me that when Jesus went to the cross, he broke every barrier mm -hmm. that there yes. was. Every wall that people had built up against each other. Jesus went to the cross and those walls crumbled. No, you didn't see them physically crumble, but they crumbled. Yes. Because his word is for everybody. Yes, it is. Everybody. Mm -hmm. God sent Philip to this man because he was seeking more understanding of what he was reading. <coughs> he traveled to Jerusalem to worship the true living God. God saw his faithfulness, his eagerness, and his longing to know more about his word. Yes. Romans 8, chapter 26, verse says, Has Paul encouraging believers? By lifting that the Holy Spirit is interceding in a way that only the Father understands. And the intercession is made according to God's will on behalf of us as believers. Philip had to explain to him that the portion he was reading had not too long ago took place with the crucifixion of Jesus. And that that scripture was about him. He also helped him to understand the gospel because the spirit was opening his mind to God's truth. It's not enough for the lost sinner to desire salvation. He must also understand God's plan mm -hmm. of salvation. Yes. The one thing that is important also in the lesson is that Jesus draws all kinds of people to himself. Yes. 
But you have to want to belong to him. You have to want salvation. And no one can decide for you. You have to make that decision. We also learn that Jesus will provide people to help you to understand his word. If it is your desire to do so. Not be critical and try to make people think that God is not about his business or get into arguments about Jesus and the word. Sometimes people come in the body of Christ and they're young, and young, they're still being, being fed, they're on the bottom, still learning, and then they want to challenge somebody mm -hmm. on the word of God. Yes. You don't have to, you know you know who you are. That's right. You don't have to challenge anybody and nobody has to challenge you. And anybody come to you and want to argue the word of God with you, you just look at them and say, all I can tell you is to read the Bible. Mm. Read the Bible. That's all I can tell you. And if they want to bring up things that you used to do when they know you've changed, you let them know, see, why am I arguing with you? You already see the testimony. Mm -hmm. You already see the testimony. You all, you want to tell me about me, of what I used to do, but you know I don't do that no more. Say so. Do Say I have so. to argue with you mm -hmm. about God? <laughs> Just look. Just look. Mm -hmm. We also see obedience in this scripture. God told Philip what to do, and Philip was obedient to the call. He moved hurriedly because God knew where this had to take place so that by the time they were finished, they would end up where some water was and the unit would be baptized. Right. Isn't that something? Mm. God knows how to orchestrate stuff. Yes, he does. He knows how to do that. So even when you think you are all this and that, when you humble yourself and meekly allow the Lord to give you the wisdom you need to see his hand stretched out to you to help you, he will provide all that you need. Yes, he, he always has someone ready to assist you. Mm -hmm. And those who hear him speak to their hearts. Yes. All he requires is your obedience. So even when you feel others have given value to your life, God still sees humility when you come into his presence. Yes. People can praise you and people can lift you up. People can exalt you. But if you are humbly serving the Lord, mm -hmm. it means nothing to you. Nothing to you. Because you know who you are and who you belong to. Yes. You are more when you count yourself the least. You are more when you count yourself as <coughs> as we stand all over. As we stand all over. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for who he is. As I always say, God, I know I thank you for who he is. I thank you for his love. Thank you for the joy. For the joy of the Lord. He is my strength. He's your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. He's your strength. To those of you who are listening with us on Facebook, we thank you for joining us. We thank you.
to God in the Lord. Just open up your heart. Yes. Oh God, he's awesome. He's awesome. Then get into a good church home. A good church home that's preaching Jesus. Yes. That's all you need to do. If it's preaching Jesus and his resurrection, you in the right place. Yes. You're in the right place. To God be the Lord. We thank you. Thank we you. Praise you. We yes. give you, Lord, for all yes. that stuff. And Lord, for those who are just listening, Lord, we pray that it has not fell on death key. My Lord. God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you. And God. now, Lord, may your grace, <laughs> may your peace, yes, grasp good in the Bible each and every one of us as we leave this place, but never your presence. My Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Amen.